Hi, I'm Divya and thanks for joining me today. I'd like to thank Crafts Lane for sponsoring this video. Crafts Lane sent me some of their new shades of paint. Uh, I was going to make a swatch for myself um, and I thought uh, maybe you guys would like uh, to see uh, me do it. So for the, for the swatching, I'm using some cardstock, uh, I'm using an MDF tag and an MDF tag that's primed. I wanted to see how the paint will react uh, to these different surfaces. I'm using a flat brush to swatch. Um, I'm adding, um, I'm not adding a lot of water, these are thick, uh, thick swatches. I'll put on some music while I, um, I swatch and um, I will come back uh, at the end of the video and uh, compare these shades for you. So to, so to tell you a little bit about these paints, these are water-based paints. These are eco-friendly. In my personal opinion, these are somewhere between acrylic paints and chalk paints. These are very smooth like acrylic paints, uh, but they're not as shiny, they're not um, they're not tacky to touch, they're not shiny, uh, they dry uh, really fast and they dry very matte, so that feels uh, a lot like chalk paints, uh, but they are not, uh, they don't have the texture that chalk paints has. Uh, these are definitely uh, smoother, smoother paints, so, um, I'm, uh, so I feel they're between acrylic paints and chalk paints. Uh, they, spread, they spread like butter, they're beautiful, I have used these on uh, MDF directly without uh, needing me to prime or prep the surface um, and uh, most of the shades uh, don't need you to add a second coat. Uh, these are they, these come in little jars uh, with a wide mouth. I thought that was really helpful if you if you're like me and you use a lot of uh, big brushes. Uh, these come in 50 grams um, that's about 1.8 ounces uh, and, I, and I feel a little goes a long way so I think they're really I think they're uh, value for money um, because it looks like they will last me um, definitely half a dozen um, to ten projects easily Once I finish one side of the tag, I'm flipping over and I have some more shades. So, um, so my initial plan was that I'll stop, I'll stop here with just the paper and tags. Uh, but I had so much fun at doing this that I thought um, I'll make. Uh, you know, when you go to a paint shop, you have these little paint swatches, little, little chips of um, paint. So I thought I'll do that. Um, so I um, got some uh, some more cardstock. Um, I had. Uh, I used a MDF, a smaller MDF tag um, as a uh, as a base, and I cut out cut out these tags for all the shades that I had. Um, I'm, I did the same thing with um, black cardstock as well. So 
Um, I'm using Faber Castell's uh, pit markers and a white jelly roll pen from Japan for writing on the black cardstock. Most of, these, uh, most of these shades showed up really well on black cardstock as well. Um, so I, it gave me an idea for, um, for a few future projects. Okay, so I have uh, finished swatching, um, and I want to um, I want to start comparing the, the shades that I have. I have baby pink and blush. Blush uh, is uh, is a more warmer warmer pink. Um, both of, both of these are really beautiful shades. I also want to show you how they look um, on paper and uh, the MDF tag. Uh, the next shade I'm comparing is Salmon uh, and Blush. Salmon is definitely uh, more orange. Uh, I don't know if real salmon looks like that, I'm a vegetarian, I don't know, but um, but yeah, that's uh, salmon, salmon is an orange shade. Uh, this is hot pink, hot pink is amazing it looked beautiful both on white and black cardstock i spelled raspberry <laughs> i spelled raspberry wrong i'm sorry about that um, raspberry is definitely more red uh, but it's still a pinkish pinkish red i don't know if the camera can i don't know if the camera is picking that up The next shade uh, is Ruby. Ruby is a little more darker uh, red. Feels a little uh, like brick red, you know, a little bit of brown on it compared to Raspberry, which is slightly more pink. The next shade is Plum. Uh, this is by far my most favorite color. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's um, it's the color. The, the shades are starting to get uh, into purples at the moment um, from here, and uh, and Plum is just my absolute favorite. It looks gorgeous both on white and black cardstock, of course. I think this is uh, the eggplant color. So that's uh, a really beautiful color as well. This is you can see the difference between plum and aubergine. Uh, 
okay the next is lavender uh, this is a pretty straightforward shade we we were familiar with it it's um, a, a gorgeous color again uh, it looked beautiful looked very similar on both white and black cardstock The next in line is Sapphire Blue. This is uh, blueberry compared with sapphire. This it feels a little more. Uh, it, it it has more of a grey um, tone to it. So uh, blueberry also is a beautiful color. It looked fantastic both on white and black cardstock. Okay, I'm flipping it over. We have. Turquoise, um, turquoise, you know, is a stunning color. It <laughs> doesn't need an introduction, it's beautiful. We have pistachio, super, super cute color. Green, um, I'm not a. Um, to be honest, this is a nice color as well, but I'm um, not a personal fan of that of that shade. Oh, this is butterscotch. Um, butterscotch looks beautiful. It's uh, definitely one of my most favorite shades. So the last shade, is, the last one I have is um, sunflower yellow. This is a bright, bright yellow. I've completed all my um, paint swatches. I wanted to work on the cover uh, because why not? Uh, so I'm just using the, um, the the small MDF tag I used earlier as a template. I had these really cute st stickers, post-it notes from one of my pen pals, um, and I thought that and I thought this was perfect for the tag. I'm picking pistachio. I am going to paint the paint the tag. I'm painting the tag, um, and this dried almost immediately. That's uh, it dried to a beautiful finish. I'm using Mod Podge to glue the sticker down. I wanted to add a little bit of uh, interest on the edges, so I've picked a grey shade of Distress Ink, and I'm just. Uh, and I'm just adding some, uh, I'm just distressing the edges. This will define the edges a little, add a little bit of uh, shade and drama to the tag. I have some, t I have some twine I'll be using along with a, a metal charm that will that I thought would look very cute. So I have all of these ready. I'm just going to assemble them. I I applied a little bit of Mod Podge on the um, on the corners so that the twine doesn't just come apart. I really, really loved these paints. I, I plan on buying all the other shades as well, so um, so it'll be really easy for me to open up that knot and add in um, any new swatches that I'll make.
had so much fun. I can't tell you how fun <laughs> it was um, spending uh, a morning doing this. It was, I loved it. Um, and uh, um, I hope you did too. Uh, this is, like I said, this is very different than the kind of um, videos and tutorials I've had so far. So um, let me know in the comments below if you if you enjoyed uh, this video um, and if you'd like to see more uh, of this kind. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Bye-bye.